Hey, this is Corey with KPJ Military Customs, and you're watching Show Us Your Humvee, episode 13. In Show Us Your Humvee, we feed your Humvee fix with Humvees from around the world. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of our weekly episodes. The purpose of this series is to give you a deeper look into cool Humvees than you would get from a few pictures on social media. We are shaking things up this week. Jeff and James hit the road to help out some Humvee brothers move some big parts. Why not take you along for the ride? Our first stop was a visit to Jeremy and Austin's secret shop in an undisclosed neighborhood in North Carolina. We were there to pick up two Humvee helmet tops and haul them across the state where John's M1025A2 was sitting topless. And, well, I'm not really sure exactly which Humvee the other top is for. More on that later. We were there to pick up tops, but couldn't resist checking out all of the other Humvee and H1 Hummer parts. If you've got an H1 that needs a new interior, or you'd like to convert your Humvee to a civilian cockpit, then the guys at Safety Third just might have the parts you need. While they focus more on H1 parts, they also have a few shelves full of military parts as well. A few hours later, Corey was waiting for us at the end of his driveway in rural eastern North Carolina. We backed in and unloaded the low-profile Humvee top before heading to the official warehouse of KPJ Military Customs a few miles away. But don't worry folks, even though we were really in a hurry, I managed to get some video of three of the KPJ Humvees in various stages of rejuvenation. First, here's the only slant back Humvee that I recall seeing on this trip, a former Special Forces M1025A2 similar to James's that we saw in episode 10 of Show Us Your Humvee. Corey added sponsons and a hatch, rebuilt the whole turret assembly, and put a very nice looking cupola, riser, and chicken shield on top. Corey, let me know if you need a gun mount. I have a few to choose from. You won't find many rod haul suspension equipped slant back GMV Humvees, well, anywhere in the world. For all I know, this could be the only one. This truck has new Wrangler MTR tires on 24 volt wheels, an A2 brush guard, armored front and top grille inserts, LED headlights, door mounted side mirrors, and an odd hole by the wiper fluid reservoir. Leave a comment if you know what that hole is for. Around back you'll find lots of new hardware on the slant back. You can see the front doors are a lot more heavily armored than your typical X doors. Inside you'll find new high back seats, a four speed shifter, and lots of new turret hatch hardware. Inboard of the tires are the signature springs, shocks, and remote reservoirs of the rod haul suspension. Here you see the front bumper extended forward to hold the recovery winch. Wait a sec, what have we here? Yes, John, this is your Humvee awaiting the installation of the helmet top that James and I just delivered. It sounded pretty good when Corey fired it up and moved it forward so we could fit the hard top in the garage behind it. I bet there's a good story on how this Humvee got the original AM General branded tailgate. The brand new seats look great and the truck looks pretty clean overall. I'm going to hold on to the video of Corey's GMV Special Forces build for a later episode. Arriving at KPJ Military Customs Warehouse can be a bit overwhelming. The unassuming building holds dozens of Special Forces GMV Humvees awaiting a little TLC before being offered for sale. I'll give a quick look around for now. If you'd like to see an interview with Corey explaining what they do and how you can get your own GMV Special Forces Humvee, then leave a comment and I'll move that interview up in the editing queue. Overall, these trucks were a lot cleaner and more complete than I had expected. Corey will sell them as is with some basic maintenance, or if you throw enough money at him, he might even do a full restoration or custom build for you. 
Thanks to the guys at Safety Third and KPJ Military Customs for allowing me to roam freely throughout their shops with my camera, taking pictures and video of absolutely everything that wasn't bolted down and a few things that were. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments. A big thanks to our patrons for helping us bring you more unbiased, hands-on reviews. If you want your Humvee to be featured in Show Us Your Humvee, then send me an email with landscape-oriented pictures or a link to download video of you doing cool stuff in your Humvee, and I'll put it here on Show Us Your Humvee. If you've already sent in pictures or video for Show Us Your Humvee and you still haven't been featured, don't worry. You will be featured soon in the upcoming weeks. I'm just going through the videos in the order that they came in. Thank you very much, and we'll see you at the range.